In today's video, we're gonna learn how to create and customize headings from within Microsoft Word 365. Welcome to the Accessibility Guy channel. My name is Sean Jordison, and let's jump right in. Now in this document, I simply have some text with some placeholder text, and what I'm going to do is apply some styles to them. So I'm gonna select the heading level one text that I have, and then I'm gonna select the heading one from the styles menu. This will automatically apply that heading level one style to the text. Next, we could take heading level two and select the heading level two style. We can then take our heading level three text and apply our heading three style, followed by our heading four style. With our navigational pane open on the left-hand side, we can determine that we have a heading one, two, three, and four. And it starts to build the content in an outline. This is important for assistive technologies as it is a primary method that users will navigate based on the heading structure of a document. Make sure that you're not using headings past heading level six as most assistive technologies will not display heading levels that are further than heading level six. So whenever you are designing your documents, make sure you apply the appropriate heading style throughout. Now, if you wanted to change the way your heading level two looked, something you could do is select the text. You could make the font red. You can make it size 28 and bold. And let's say you had multiple heading level twos throughout your document. You would be able to right click the heading style and select update heading two to match selection. That would change the heading level two throughout the document. And moving forward, any new heading level twos that you put in would automatically adhere to the same style that you chose previously. Did you know that the heading styles used from within Microsoft Word are one of the most common ways that people using screen reader technologies navigate a document? They can use a shortcut on their keyboard with various assistive technologies to pull up a list of headings that live within the file. Then they can navigate quickly between the heading structure and quickly jump to that specific component of the document. This this is why having a heading structure is so important. Also wanted to address a common question that I get that is the title tag. And that question is usually, what do we do about the title tag? Uh, well, here are some problems with the title tag in Microsoft Word. This information is not communicated to a screen reader in a meaningful way. There is no way to pull up a title in Microsoft Word using a screen reader. It's better to make the title of your document a heading level one. Whenever you convert this document over to a PDF, the title attribute also will not carry over and it will simply come into the document as body text. There will be no significant attribute to this information. So when possible, avoid using the title style from within Microsoft Word. It just doesn't really do anything from an accessibility perspective. This is my heading level one. It's currently set to a specific font and size that I like. The bolding and the color is all what I want. But what if we wanted to adjust our heading level two? In this example, I have the overview text selected and I want this text to be my heading level two. Now, for some reason it has the normal style applied. I think this is because I edited the document on two different computers. But if I wanted to update the heading style for this heading level two, I could simply right click it from the quick styles menu and select update heading two to match selection. And that now ensures that our heading level two uh, is the same throughout. I want to quickly go through these. Up. So if we want to get a little more in depth on how to look at the styles in our document, I can select this pop out icon on the styles ribbon under the home tab. And this will show me all of the styles that are currently in my document. Now, sometimes some of them are missing in here. So we can select the options button and then under the select select styles to show pop up, we can say all styles and then we wanna select okay. And now we can see a list of all of the styles from within our document. Now let's edit our heading level two. Uh, to do this, I'm going to select the text and we can apply any of our changes that we want and then update the heading. Or what we can do is I can right click the heading level two option and select modify. This will allow me to put in specific elements for this heading structure. So if I wanted to make this a heading level two, we're gonna have it based off of the heading level two style. Uh, we can change the font and the size. Let's go ahead and make this size 16. And if we want to do some more creative things, we can select the format drop down button and then select 
let's say paragraph. Now from here, we could apply some specific spacing to it, like if we wanted it to be first line or hanging, or if we wanted to add a little bit of space after every one of the heading level twos, we can do that by changing this after spacing. We can then select okay. We can also change the font color. And if we wanted to add even more things, we could select the format button and then select something like border as an example. And you can put a shadow or a box around your content and then select okay. And then select automatically update and then select okay. That then changes all of the heading level twos from within our document. Now, I don't love that border around here, uh, but I just wanted to show you that you can make your headings look however you want them to look. Let's go ahead and hit Control Z to undo. That concludes our video on how to create and customize headings from within Microsoft Word. If you wanna find out how I can help you get accessible, take a look at the link in the description of this video. And as always, I can be your personal accessibility expert. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.